Good afternoon folks, I'm Lee, the Pit Village Trader. I hope you are all very, very well. Now, it's been some time since my last update and in the time that I've been away from the video screen and uh, other things, I have managed to make £15,000 trading stocks and shares and spread betting on the financial markets. If you subscribe to my mailing list, you will have some idea of how that money was made. If you follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash pitville trader, you will have a pretty good idea of how that money was made. The pre 50% spread betting, 50% stocks and shares. Now, I wanted to do this video because there's a few things going on in the world that I think you need to be aware of. I want to throw some ideas out there and I want to generate a little bit of discussion. So... The first thing is, if you haven't already, get yourself over to pitvillagetrader.co.uk, subscribe to my mailing list, and get all of this juicy information via email. Now, the second thing is, I am always, always, always being asked, Lee, what are you looking at now? What are you looking at to trade in at the moment? Are you still in any positions? Uh, can you help me do this? I've got £10,000 to invest. I don't know where to invest it. What would you do with that money now? Loads of questions. So I thought I'll try and answer some of those questions in this video to give you a little bit of a head start. Question number one, am I still invested in anything right now? Yes, my ICES are in um, Airtel Africa. Uh, I have some holdings in, I still have some holdings in ITM Power and there, uh, I've got some uh, some shareholding in Under Armour, uh, which is a random one. I'll probably be coming out of that soon. But other than those positions, I am not in any stocks. I'm not holding any equities. All of my investments previously and recently have been in cryptocurrency, mostly Monero and physical precious metals. I would encourage you to view the market with caution at the moment because it seems to me like we are on the brink of something that could change the whole fabric of the way our society views itself. Having said that, these times always lead to great opportunity and as I said at the beginning, you know, I've made 15 grand in the last three months just by holding on to positions when it seemed not wise to do so and by making trades on how to do things. Um, okay, so I don't want to go on too much, so let's just get into it. Lee, have you got any ideas? What would you be doing with money now? One, right, buy Monero, cryptocurrency, the link down below. That could increase 20-fold. I actually think the, um, the CIA or the US government, the IRS, whatever it is, has just put out an ethical hacker reward for 1.5 million dollars if anyone can hack or crack the code to Monero. Why are they doing that? Because Monero is a privacy currency. You cannot be tracked when you trade with Monero. The only time you ever get tracked is when you interact with a fiat currency, that's pound sterling, US dollar, etc. And you exchange that back into your natural, your, your fiat currency. But the idea of all of these cryptocurrencies is to hold them past the point at which fiat currencies matter, for want of a better phrase. And I'm going to get a little bit more into that as we go through the rest of the presentation. But before we get into that, what would I do right now if I was looking to invest in some equities? As you know, I've showed you this before. How do I invest in equities? Very simple. Hargreaves Lansdowne, these are all free. HargreavesLansdowne.co.uk. Click on shares. Pop down to this, which will show you which marketplaces have received the most increase in value today, this market session. You can see that the FTSE 350 and the FTSE 100 is where the money primarily has been flowing today. As you know, I follow price action. So I always look for where things are going. Having said that, I do prefer to trade in the FTSE 250 because the um, the volume of companies is larger and the price is usually smaller. So let's have a look at the FTSE 250 market for today. This is the price today. So we've just had this little crazy run up uh, at the end of the day. <clears throat> 
excuse me while I get a drink. And if you don't like my attitude, then stop talking to me. Or in your case, stop listening. Oh, did I tell you I grew a beard in the time that I was away? Thought I'd let you know. All right, here we go. What's going on here? Taking ages. <clears throat> so I'm trying to look at the six month chart. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a bit. So the FTSE 250 today's top rises, which shares are moving via price action or evidenced by a price action where the interest is basically where are investors putting the money. Number one, almost 10%, Hochschild Mining. Very, very important and interesting. Number four, you remember the last email that I sent out a couple of weeks ago? Petro Pavlovsk. I told you to get into that when it was 24 pence. Look at the price, it's 29. 7% today. Where are we? See, I would be very tempted to get into this position right now. So, number one tip for the day Petro Pavlovsk. Why? I always get asked these questions. Why, Lee? I need a thread on this. Can you give us a thread? Can you give us your market analysis? Can you give us your research? I don't have any. I don't need any. I don't use any. Fiat currencies are going to crash. They're being inflated away. They're being hyperinflated away. Precious metals, cryptocurrencies, real assets are going to take that value from fiat currencies. So money is going to flow out of banks and savings accounts and into alternative assets. Petro Pavlovsk is a mining company. It's in Russia. It's um, heavily surrounded and historically ha having some uh, bureaucratic issues, some legal issues. Basically, it's just a bit of a shitstorm at the minute um, with a new management team coming in to get some accountability of the old bosses who seem to be paying backhanders to the mates to get some money. Doesn't matter. None of it matters. I only know that because I know people ask me, what do you know about this company? And before five weeks ago, I didn't really know any of that. And I am telling you now, you don't need to know any of that. What do you need to know to think this is a good investment? Look at the share price for the last year. Down here, 10 pence. Now, 29 pence. That's 200% in a year. It doesn't matter the, the interim spikes, ups and downs, da, 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 da. It doesn't matter. Over the last year, this price has increased by almost 200%. Yeah. This is over the last five years. Not much, not much, not much, not much, not much. Loads of money fall. Not much, not much, not much. I'm not saying it's not without risk, right? I am not saying it's not without risk. But right now, looking at the last year, with the new guys coming in, the clamping down on some regulations, trying to put things in place, to blah, blah, blah. It's a punt. It's cheap. And with where the market's going, I would definitely add that onto your watch list. Now, it's interesting because the other companies that are up there look at it look at the Hochschild mining precious metals sent them in i don't know what that is i'm guessing it's another metals mining company let's have a look um the, the, you, th you, th you think i'm flippant you think i'm flippant um but it's absolutely true i i wrote a tweet this morning and i basically said i don't make money doing this because i'm particularly skilled at doing what i do but I am experienced. And that's sometimes just as good as being skilled. So Sentiment PLC is a mineral exploration, development and mining company. Guys, the signs are there. Look, all of all of the miners are now increasing. Get in get into miners. Get into physical precious coins. Get yourself over to Bullion by Post, link down below. Spend more than £250 on a gold sovereign using my link and you will get a free silver coin for doing it. I'm telling you guys, this is it's not bullshit, right? Precious metals, cryptocurrencies, real assets are going to far, far 
give you a greater return on your investment than holding any kind of cash fiat over the next five, 10 years. If you can't cope with that time frame, maybe there's some other things you can do, but even, even one year, even one year, one year from now, cryptocurrencies and gold is gonna be higher than the price it is at now. You're just gonna have to trust me. Um, this is experience talking, not skill, and possibly a bit of luck. Right, so where was I? I was looking at the rises for today. So of the top rises, we've got one, two, three, four for Expo. I think they're a mining company. Uh, four out of the top 10, uh, or top 15. Um, there might be even others in there that I don't even that I don't even know. Um, all right, so those are the ones. That, so Petro Pavlovsk, I would be into that. Um, let's let's just have a look at sentiment, right? While we're here, seven point seven percent. Okay, where where one year right now? This one's different. This one is different because a year ago the price was trading at about one hundred and twenty-five pence. It is now about one hundred and fifteen pence. In the last year, this share price has decreased. So. I would avoid this. <clears throat> yeah, I would avoid it for now. I would wait. Stick it on a watch list. Wait. Move on. Hochschild man. Let's have a look at these daddy -os. Over the last year, 150, 160 now at about, where are we, 160. We're now at 220. So, yeah. There's been a substantial increase evidenced by price action over the last year. I would be thinking now would be a good time to get into this one. <clears throat> uh, what was the other one that we saw? We saw Fur Expo. You know, the problem with having a big beard is that every time you eat something or drink something, it goes all over your beard. Amazing for the winter. Uh, not so good for eating food. Whew. All right, for Expo, what are they, right. We'll go into what they do in a minute. First things first, all time highs. Don't know if it's an all time high, but it's, an, it's a high for the last year. In the last year, this price has increased from 150 to just over 200. That's 25% in a year. Yeah, look. Overall, since time began, this is still a positive trend. From the highs of 2017, we have decreased. But overall, time immemorial, time is relative, guys. Look at the last year. Um, yeah, it's a positive trend for the last year. The evidence is there for the price. It's a recent breakout. It's a recent breakout from recent highs. I would be adding to this position right now. <clears throat> so what's that? Petro Pavlovsk, um, Horschild, and Fur Expo, just by looking at the charts. That's the gold miners. Now let's look at something different, just for the crack. Virgin Money. Why has Virgin Money increased? <coughs> Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I just got a fleeting glance of that chart and I can already write it off because the chart looks too volatile. There's no there's no pattern. It's just, yeah, I would stay away from this one if it loads up. You know, it's come it's come to my attention that some people actually like to just listen to what I've got to say rather than soak up the information. I never realized actually that some people want to learn about me or you in these videos. You know, it's not, some people prefer not to be all about info, info, info. Um, so for those of you that feel that way, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Um, okay, I would stay away from Virgin Money. Yeah, I've had a little bit of a run today, but in the last year, the price has gone down. Move on. Forget it. Uh, Mitchells and Butlers. Let's have a look. Big company. Probably if you're in the habit of getting into defensive stocks and dividend paying stocks, this might be a one. Um, where are we? 
for me, I wouldn't be into it. Um, just looking at the last, the last year. Yes, there is an indication that things might be changing right now, but it's just not quite there for me yet. It's still testing. IWG. I don't know who these guys are. Let's have a look. No one knows where the market goes. What do they do? It's going to be something really obvious, isn't it? Like a, a company that I should know. Jersey-based workspace company. The company operates under the Regis Regis Express Spaces. Okay, so office space, uh, office community things. I cannot really see that in my mind doing particularly well over the next couple of years, if I'm completely honest, because more people are going to be out of jobs than in jobs. Uh, we've gone from 400 at, the be 400 at the beginning of the year to almost 300 now, so almost a 25% decrease in price. Stay away. Yeah, it looks good for today, but just stay away. Not worth it. <clears throat> Capita. I don't like them. They're a massive company. For personal belief reasons, I'm just going to avoid them. I think they're a bunch of Muppets. Corrupt Muppets. Um, EasyJet. Oh, haven't they said that they want to do help distribute vaccines and all that nonsense? Probably getting a short-term kick out of that. But ultimately, pretty screwed. I would stay away from EasyJet. Back actually back in the Telegraph money competition, I remember I took EasyJet on as a bit of, as a as a one of those positions that could have crashed or could have just stratospherically taken off if all of a sudden some regulations had changed uh, to suddenly open up the travel market. Uh, deep down, I knew that wasn't going to happen, but uh, it was a fantasy fun game, so I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with it. Right, where are we? Uh, who else has had a good day? Crest Nicholson, WH Smith, Vistry Group, don't know who they are. ITV, <sighs> televisions, I'm not sure about. Yeah, I think that's where I would leave those now. Uh, so we've got Miners, we've got Hochschild, Petra Pavlovsk, and for Expo, I think, was the three. Now, important also, when you're looking at the rises, you can picture trends that are increasing and that are attractive and you might want to get into them. But also what gives you what is commonly known as buying opportunities in the market is when a price increases, it has a sudden fallback and then it continues on that trend. Sometimes if you look at the fallers for the day, you will find a little gem. So Helios Towers, Domino's Pizza Group, this is an interesting one. Because I know myself, I have seen Domino's Pizza vans still driving around, even in this situation that we're in now. Too messy. I wouldn't get involved. Pets at home. Meh. TI Fluid Systems. Might be interesting. Let's have a look. 888 Holdings. I'm going to have a look at that next. Right. This is interesting. Because 250, 225 price, beginning of the year, just short of that now. But recent price action is reasonably strong. So you could argue that in March, when pandemic hit, plandemic hit, scamdemic hit, uh, we had this panic. We slowly tried to recover, but now there's confidence and there's strong confidence, there's strong sentiment in this one. The force is strong in this one, guys. TI Fluid Systems. And it's just had a bit of a fall off a recent high. So this would also be a good, a good investment, in my opinion, possibly for a spread bet. Possibly for a spread bet. Hold it for about six weeks. Um, what else? I'll look at one more before I go into something interesting. Uh, 888 Holdings, okay. I've got to say, I don't, I, you know, it's, I don't really enjoy trawling through all of this, looking for opportunities. This looks strong, guys. 888 Holdings, in the last year, 150. We're now at 250. 
yeah, I mean, 60, 70% increase. Yeah, like this is, it's an opportunity buy. And it's not even back to recent highs. It's been higher than where it is now in the past. I think this is a very good investment. And in fact, I think I will buy some shares in that as soon as I finish this video in one of my junior ices. It is 20 to 4 now, so I've got about 20 minutes to finish this video and do that. Um, I'll update you on Twitter after I've done that. So that's 888 Holdings. This is the extent of my research. You know, it's, um, yeah. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know. I'm not gonna go on any more of any more tips. I've given you three or four that I would be interested in now. I've told you one that I'm definitely gonna buy. I'll post the video uh, of me doing that or the picture of me doing that in, in my, on my Twitter account, Pit Village Trader or Pitville Trader. Now, let's go on some fun stuff. What's going on in the world? The digital euro could spur major breakthrough towards more liberal EU payments market. Expert says, I have been banging on about cryptocurrencies and digital currencies and gold and precious metals and the uh, pretty imminent collapse of the global financial system for some time now, especially if you've been on my email list, you will have picked this up. The digital euro is moving ever closer. So why do I bring that up? I bring that up because this week, um, actually in the last two weeks, cryptocurrencies have increased in value by a significant amount. In fact, I'm gonna slam this up there now. Coin market cap, coin market cap. This is the Brave browser. And if you haven't used it, I encourage you to do it. Uh, so. Coin Market Cap is basically a um, it's an aggregator, a website that aggregates all of the cryptocurrencies and their recent moves in the market. Gives you a seven day increase and a twenty four hour increase. Bitcoin obviously has increased a substantial amount in the last seven days. If we go back, I don't know if we can go back to two weeks, it doesn't matter. It, in the last two weeks, it increased substantially. But where I'm sitting, you know, I'm in. Monero, I'm here, 3.6% decline in the last week, which presents a buying opportunity, all right? These these cryptocurrencies are all gonna increase in value. I actually, I, I mentioned Revolt, the Revolt app on Twitter some time ago, and you can actually buy cryptocurrency. So you sign up to a British bank or a UK bank, you can buy cryptocurrency directly from the app, but you can't exchange it out of that marketplace, out of that ecosystem. So for that reason, I don't recommend Revolt app. In fact, I think it's pants. But the fact that that is now at your fingertips, the fact that this is coming into the mainstream is an indication that cryptocurrencies haven't even begun to get to the value that they are going to get in the next five years. So Monero, if you haven't got any, buy some now. Visit localmonero.co. There's a link down below. Buy, put put a hundred quid in, put two hundred quid in, put five hundred quid in. I guarantee you, by this time next year, that will be worth more than what you pay for it now. And I mention it because of the digital euro. If you're on my email list, I've already talked a little bit about this, but it's probably worth having a, a wider discussion about the idea. If all of the nation states, that's United Kingdom, Spain, uh, the Euro, the Euro bloc, the USA, the UK, if we actually leave the European Union, if they all create their own digital currency, which is kind of layman's term for a cryptocurrency, you will then have currency, digital currencies all around the world that will need to go through a central mechanism to be exchanged for one another. At which point we will see the introduction of a global currency, a global digital currency, which each nation state can exchange into and then from that out of to another country. Over time, that lower tier of nation state digital currency will be wiped away. 
and all transactions will be at a global level, a global currency. This is gonna roll out over the next five to 10 years, 10 years max, so you've got time. You know, you, you, Now is the time. This is the Amazon moment, right? This is the Google moment, it's the Apple moment. The returns that were made in those investments will be made in cryptocurrencies now if you make that move. But be cautious of being frightened out of it and be mindful that at some point, if you buy Monero or Bitcoin, at some point this global currency will not allow you to exchange into it. So for the next five years, cryptocurrencies, it's about as sure a thing as there is if you want to increase the value of your capital. Link down below to local Monero. I use Monero because of the private, the private nature of the transactions and for um, just, the, I like privacy. I like to not pay tax when I don't have to. And Monero, if you keep the Monero payments in, so you've got your fiat money, your 100 quid, you've already been taxed on that through your job or through your, your capital gains tax or whatever it is, you've already been taxed for that. So you've paid your tax on that, but now transfer that money into your Monero and then leave it in the Monero ecosystem and it will increase in value over the next five years. But you have to leave it in there to do that. Um, Second thing uh, that I wanted to mention was the gold price. Uh, so again, a massive, massive buying opportunity for gold uh, here. This is the last year. Um, you will see that at the beginning of the year, we were down at £1,132 per troy ounce. We're now at 1350 It's a substantial increase, and you will also see that is off the highs of almost 1600. We will get back here for all of the reasons that I've just mentioned. So now presents a great opportunity. And as I said earlier on, get yourself on the bullion by post, use the link below, spend more than 250 quid, and you'll get a free one ounce silver coin as well, if you use my link. Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to, to get into, I wanted to talk about Monero. This is the Monero website, if you haven't used this yet. Very easy, sign up for free. Again, link down below, put in how much you want to spend. So if you want to put buy 100 pounds worth of Monero, 100 pound, search. And it will give you a list of places where you can buy those or you can spend 100 pounds worth of Monero for. Yes, all of these guys selling the coins have their little markup. The, the, the market rate seems to be between two and 3% uh, for markup, so to be expected. Um, but as long as you use someone who has, there's guy there, XMR Extreme, um, 748 transactions, 100% feedback, no problem. Transfer the money, you will have Monero. It will appear in your wallet here. And then you can send that to wherever you want uh, to keep and hold your Monero. So if you've got a, a hard USB Trezor or Nano Ledger, you can send the cryptocurrency to your physical ledger. Um, but we'll maybe discuss that in the future. So that's really all I want to say, guys. Um, I hope you are all, all doing extremely well. I hope everyone is safe and sound and you're making opportunities. You're making money in the current markets because there are still opportunities out there. However, be mindful of the things that are changing. If you haven't already, get on my mailing list and I will keep you more up to date with things on there. And most especially, probably Twitter because that is the place where I'm most active. So... That's enough for now. Have a great day. Um, trade well and be happy. Cheers. Bye.